Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Lego Star Wars 2. Uh, so, you'll notice a few things. For one, I have way more studs than before. And secondly, you'll also see that I have some stuff done. Uh, now, you hopefully just now saw some footage of me building these things, because I wanted to get that recording for some reason. And you'll see that in each of these I actually have a... Ta-da! Gold brick already. That's under the super story, which is just playing through the entire game again on a time limit, a one hour time limit, each episode, uh, has a one hour time limit that you must, I believe, must complete to actually get a gold brick from it. So I did all that on screen, or off screen rather, and it wasn't fun. But now I have that done. It wouldn't have been anything new for you guys, so I just didn't do it. Now I need at least one more character before I head on into uh, free play mode, which I'm so excited about. But... I would like to get one of these. I have a, one character that might be what I need actually, but I'm not sure. Wait, how do I need to unlock something involving Luke? Some of these characters get so expensive too. I'm assuming that the, uh, yeah, Boa Fett, look at that, the bounty hunters are really expensive. If I find any cheaper ones, I'd like to get that. Some of these, I don't understand why you, well, you'd want to buy them, gonk droids. I need some research on gonk droids. Oh yeah, and there's the most expensive one, Yoda Ghost, and the worst one to play as. IG-88, I believe that's cheaper. I believe IG-88 is cheaper actually than uh, Boba, isn't it? It's kind of hard to see what's what with these darn silhouettes alone. I believe Lobot might... No, no, Lobot's not a bounty hunter. It's kind of hard to remember who, it, who is and isn't. But yeah, Boba Fett's 175,000. Then we have IG88. He's only 100,000. I'll get him. I like IG88 anyways. He looks nothing like he does in the actual Star Wars franchise in this game, but it's fine. Uh, there's also this, which we'll get to see later, which also pertains to bounty hunters, but you can't go in here until you've bought all of the bounty hunters. But. Having said that, now that we actually have completed the entire game, in terms of story mode, we can play through everything in free play, which is where I really think the game shines, because there's so much more to do. Oops. I also forgot, though. I have a couple of extras. I believe I bought all of them on screen. One is use old save. I'll do that. Use extra toggle. you see what that is. I don't think I have anything else yet, do I? I haven't bought anything else yet. In that case, I believe I have everything I need to to do what I want to here. So in free play, you select whatever character you have unlocked. What, why is, oh yeah, never mind. I looked that wrong. I have, you'll see uh, now that I have all these characters from Lego Star Wars 1 unlocked as well, except for three, I don't know who those three are, but I don't actually own Lego Star Wars 1 at the moment, so it's kind of a problem if I want to get all these. But there's not really much of a practical uh, application of playing as these characters for the most part. I think if you play as Django, you might be able to uh, bypass bounty hunter checkpoints. I'm not sure. I think if you play as both Fett as a boy, you can crawl through things. And if you play as clones, you might be able to activate stormtrooper checkpoints. I don't think you can with those. I don't know. I'd have to see. But super jump, if you're wondering, is not in this game. So characters that, that could do super jump in Lego Star Wars One cannot do it in this game. But so you just select whatever character you feel like, and then. You're just going around a mix of other characters that do what you need them to do. In that case, if you want to play as anyone from uh, Lego Star Wars 1, you have to select them explicitly. So I suppose I'll do that. Uh, no, I'll show up General Grievous later. There's a certain reason for wanting to play as him. But how about... Because I enjoy playing as him. Also, she doesn't wear that hat when you play as her. It's kind of dumb. But I might as well... Has Han Solo because I've enjoyed playing him so much throughout the game so far, I guess. Actually, I'm not sure if you get a Sith. I'm not sure if you automatically get a Sith Jedi or not. That's one thing I think this game doesn't always do for you. I think it tends to just give you a Jedi that isn't a Sith, which is a problem. Another nice thing about free play is you don't have to worry about story mode things at all. No story, aside from the little screen, I guess. But no cutscenes, which is really nice. There's so much more doing all these levels than you see in story mode, and this is the mode that shows it off. You just have so much fun just playing around, finding everything this game has to offer. 
and picking up so many more collectibles that you can't see otherwise. It's really not worth going through, though, I don't think, until you've actually played the whole thing. Thank you for telling me no game. I can play as whoever we want, so we might as well have a storm trooper and Darth Vader together. But now uh, that we have extras to use as well, you can use these in story mode uh, as long as you're playing Super Story, but there's not much of a practical application doing so, as there is a free play. Now we still have True Jedi, and that is kind of sad, but it will become easier to deal with as time goes on for reasons that you'll see later. Until then. I just blow stuff up. So you guys are bubbling his enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot. The stormtroopers can double jump, they lay on their faces. Oh but look at this. See this thing right here? That is a thing I can blow up. Look at that, there are things in it. So as you might be able to guess, standards being true Jedi um, in free play are way higher. But there's so much more stuff to find. So it's pretty okay, I think. Beat it up, up. I forgot IG8 made that noise. IG8's a weird character. He doesn't really do much, actually. Like, he can't do things most humans can. He's like a mixture between a droid and a not droid. I didn't get wicked. Anyways, we're going to select uh, two characters instead of just being able to choose what one of your random characters are. You actually, just use the second controller to do that, which I might do at a later point. I guess I'll be showing off the, way, the custom character creation layer too, because I haven't actually made any mention of that so far. You unlock parts for it though as you unlock different characters, so it's a bit more practical. Just to wait. Oh, I thought he was an enemy, darn it! I like how these guys sneak, they're trying to like, sneak across a wall. I have to force all these things, I don't like that. So I have so many things to force on them. Well, it's just boring to do all of it. That's the only thing I kind of don't like about this game. You just feel like you're missing so much if you don't force all the things that are forceable in this game. There's so many things that are forceable. That's a lot of studs that really add up. Anyways, uh, as for why I would want a Sith character, so I can blow this thing up. Explosions, of course. And then find yet another double score zone. These things aren't that common in the game, but nice to find. I didn't have any mini kits before now? Yeah. This one really wasn't easy on you. Okay, but you will see. It's not too hard to get True Jedi in uh, free play as compared to the other modes. So it's not going to be as stressful or time consuming. And we will eventually find that uh, we'll be able to get away with not having to worry about it at all later on. But for now, we can not have us the novelty of having a stormtrooper run around with us, I guess. We're playing as Spawn Counters and reaping the benefits of that as well. But this game's nice enough to give you all the characters you need for a particular level. To unlock it. Or uh, to actually be able to collect everything you'd want. Hello! Oh no! Hmm. Not very happy with that. Oh hey! So this is a guy I can play as. Uh, there's some extra characters you can play as. Why, why do you not want a hat? There's some extra characters you can play as. In this case, I guess it's just Rebel Engineer. You can play as in certain levels if you have uh, extra toggle turned on. Just like plays extra uh, characters that are only unlocked in certain areas. For now, though, I'll just ha have some fun. There's so much money for everything. We'll be getting plenty of money to sustain whatever purchases you'll we'll be wanting to make be wanting to make too. I of course want to buy every single character. I of course do want to buy every single character, and I do also want to uh Ow. Oh, I accidentally hit a fader. How are you just leave me alone because I'm this thing? I was saying I accidentally hit Peter. Put that bomb, it blew up. Crap. That's not need to worry too much about dying. Because the game's kind of easy on you about it, but still, I might not have that happen. But now you can see lots of random little silly things like this. 
They just are stuck in the level because they felt like it. They're, it's not necessarily just that the things in themselves are so funny. I guess they just get away with pulling these things up and stuff, forcing them. It's not that these things are all that funny in themselves, it's just that the sheer amount of it okay, seems to stop being super deal. Adds up to a beautiful degree. Oh no, how am I to get down here? Yeah, you'll, you'll usually have Wicket or an Eowok with you, I guess, because they can crawl through these things. Maze! I can force truck Vader. Wait, I thought I could go down through here. Can I not just, like, run around freely down here? I might have to enter from somewhere else, I hadn't realized. I think you do, actually. I can hear Vader breathing. Oh, yes, I believe what you want to do is blow this thing up. I love the noises IG-88 makes. There we go. And more studs! Game rewards you so much for everything you do in free play, and it's wonderful. Now, having done that... Ew. Now, I, it's about time I show off another glitch here. They'll just make life so much easier. I'm not really trying to show off any glitches yet, but... That! It's called Triple Jump. If you do, uh... This attack here... And then... Switch right as you do it... <laughs> the timing is that easy too. I haven't done it. Oh, that was my first time failing it. I haven't done it in years, and it's that easy for you to start doing again. Well, but it lets you uh, do some very nice things. How high you can get depends on each depends on what character you're using. I believe the character that gets the most tight is General Grievous. The character that gets the second most tight is Emperor Palpatine. So if you play a, so if you don't have a, whoops. So if you don't have, happen to have Lego Star Wars one, you can still get nearly as much height by playing as a Palpatine. Off. Now I am afraid that episodes might be a little bit longer now too because of this whole thing though. What with how we, uh... Oh no! <laughs> what with how there's so much already seen at every level. Ow. Hi, Doro. I believe... There was one mini in this level that took me forever to find. It was in a corridor like this one. I think it was a later one. There was one where you just had to force a random grate. Like all these others. There's nothing that stuck out about it, I don't think, either. I think it was on the top left, that grate. That one particular grate just happened to... grant you access to a mini kit. Punk. But what happens if you go here? Go inside? Boom! I think. Well, if we go inside the other one, boom, more thing. Well, if we, how do we put together that thing? A door! It was beautiful, beautiful nonsense. Yes, Chewie, I agree. I should always have Chewie with me. Yeah, see, he likes that idea. Now, sometimes you can use an extra toggle to play something like a mouse droid. Which actually moves around more quickly too. That makes life a lot more easy. And later on, you don't even need to be using bounty hunters to blow these things up, and they'll be even easier. Crap, front, you can't build things. And now, because we feel like it, we can just cruise around. I guess on the subject of moving around more quickly. I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not mistaken with the whole stuff being quicker. Or with the whole having to collect more studs to get True Jedi in a level thing I was talking about earlier. But I can't entirely guarantee it. Whoa! That looked interesting. 
I, mean, I can die as I please. I like to not lose kind of studs by dying. There are some benefits to doing certain things involve dying. But we will later have the ability to not have to worry about that anyways, without losing studs through death. At least not for those purposes that I'm talking about. It's weird, you'll see. So much to see! Come, see this glorious world with me, Chewie. There's so many things in these levels that are just there because they can be. Like this. Boom! All of the explosion. And why not? Vader must tend to his garden. The harvest is good this year. You know what's even better? Money harvest. And power brick harvest! I have no idea why these things are called power bricks. I believe I've already given those things an introduction. Power bricks, whenever you pick them up, they unlock an extra you can buy in the store. And you have to unlock an extra and then buy it, which is kind of annoying. But at the same time, they're really good extras. I don't think you can see what that extra is. Oh, look! We grew a car. I forgot about this. There are actually two vehicles here you can get, so... If someone wants to play as something, you can do that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't tell us what that power brick is until we actually complete the level, which is sad. But that means you just have more and more excitement at the end of the level. Yeah, Chewie, I can't wait either. I know, I know, it's hard to be patient. Oh, no, don't do that, Vader. Oh, there we go, that goes on first. I'm gonna build cars, Vader. Bonk, inside of me. And away we go! So if I had two players, I could actually have both of us inside of these little car things, and it's so fun to do that. I don't have to. So instead... Now she sings corner better. So instead, let us go onwards. Away! I believe we've done everything we need to so far. I don't really have a reason for this one. Oh yeah, I do! I just demonstrated that reason. Whoops. Yeah, so even if you don't have, need to destroy everything for studs, you just kind of need to break anything anyways. In some cases, just because good stuff happens sometimes. It is faster to do this, <laughs> so I kind of want to take the car everywhere I go. Boom! Come on, Chewie! I would let you have your own vehicle if you're... Artificial intelligence allowed you to. I want to break everything just because I'm kind of paranoid about it. I don't want to get studs because I broke the thing. Oh no! I know, Shui, it's scary. Shui, come on. I'm doing my part, you can do it too. Does this guy not dodge? Okay, that's one reason why. One reason to play as a layout when you first play this level. Hello! Whoa! What was that? What? Cool. Misfire. What should it be? I tell you don't notice until it's too late. <laughs> you notice me right before I actually attack them. It's not why I'm attacking them either. It's beautiful. Oh yes, there was reason to bring this car over here, actually, now that I think about it. Well, what I wanted to do was... Activate these. Oh no. The camera doesn't help. There you go. Oh, they save you studs. Chewy, let us see. Chewy! Open anyways, okay. And if we activate this other one, this will only give us something more exciting. If you could please. And I can really wonder how long some of these episodes are going to be at this point, because there's so much stuff to explore in all these. And it's cool, but man. No, that worked too. Joey, let's see. Oh. 
They also cancel out of anything you're doing by switching characters. Very just convenient. Oh, hello. I think you see someone die there or something normally. If you're on free play. Uh, I'm still gonna lock on to this car. This car is a lot more useful than you could ever imagine. Scud. Yeah, you get so many studs from free play, it's beautiful. And the studs I'm gonna get later on too from other things, it'll be even better. And just get so much. Oh, hi. Go away, please. You just become so much more powerful than everything else in, in the game. But why Why does that have any significance? Oh, I'll, I see why that has significance. Wait, no, I don't. What's going on? I don't understand why, what the significance of being able to force that was at all. But, anyways. Bring the car. I believe it was somewhere around here that that, uh, one vent I talked about before is the one that got me for a long time. Like, didn't realize I could force to get a mini cut. Kind of bugged me. It acts differently when you force it, though. Pretty sure it's in this corner. I don't know if it's in, on this side or the one uh, on the opposite side of the shield, though. Other side, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. IG-88 can actually uh, activate any droid stuff. It's really convenient. Uh, there's another character that can do that. I don't remember his name right now. I looked over him when I was buying characters for this episode. There we go! That one. But it's nice to have those guys, just so you don't have to switch characters as much. And you don't have to deal with the lost mobility. He still likes their noises though, which is fun. Okay. There we go. So if you go on top of this thing, you put it to its final resting place. You can get that. And lastly. Oh god! If things explode, I assume you do that. I can only wonder. I can't do this crane over top myself, can I? No, I couldn't. Of course not. Oh well. Hey! You're fine. Go through myself. Jerks. And this guy doesn't actually become your friend or anything. Jerk! And he's invincible, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And the thing is, the AI won't actually progress unless they're supposed to. So there will be cases, unfortunately, where. Right, I thought you could actually cancel out of these and slot things open. Darn it. But you'll have cases where. Unfortunately, you'll just kind of get stuck with your uh, little AI friend not following you like you'd like them to. Yeah, no dodge. Darn it. I know, it's annoying. <laughs> 88 has a sidestep and it's beautiful. So those are instant death, which is nice. So look at that sidestep, it's so apathetic. He has no melee, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure the right guy. Can you go away, please? Hey, seriously. I'll bet you to be. Uh, well. There's so much more to think about sometimes, though, when you can play as other characters. Because that just means. What? Stop trying to hit me! God, man. So that means so much more to think about, and... So many more things you can do. Anyways. How many kids do we have so far? I don't think I should be missing any. Well, I haven't been destroying anything. Yeah, there's something I might have missed. I'll have to go back if I don't have it by... later on. IG-88! Do it! In case you'll get a beach trooper there too.
Um, I believe one of those. <laughs> AI is beautiful. I believe all of those uh, things I just tried to get make it might have been back here though. Yeah, that's true. So try to destroy all these nearby. Just to be safe. And I don't think it'd be this far back. Although I'll destroy this one. Just because I'm curious. Ah, the computer can't get high enough. Alright. Probably out of car. I think you can pick up the car and drag it over here, actually. I'm pretty sure you can bring the car throughout the entire level. But it's just not too practical to do that. Now what else that can I destroy though? Well, I can destroy these things. Something else I can destroy to get that bonus. Get that, uh, little grape thing. Sorry, Joey. So that's nine. Why did I have this? I need to go back and get it if I did it, so I think I need to get everything in one go on every level. I have all the resources to do so. Yes, I have one more to get. Uh, I need to go see where that could possibly be. I might end up cutting some stuff out just so I don't seem too boring looking for all this stuff though. Okay, I really don't remember where the thing is. And I've spent too long here for a single episode, so I suppose I'll have to be it for this level. I'll show where that last mini kit is off screen or I well not I won't show it off screen, but I'll show it whenever I find it. Where that might happen to be. So I'm honestly not quite sure when that would be. But I don't want to play this entire level again either. So I guess we'll just have to see how that works out. Oh. Extra mind. I just spent way long Man, that's some nice that's some nice moves, IG88. This is how you get that last mini cut. I think you jerk and drain the tub. Oops, I spent the in that long while dragging through the entire level and bring this thing with me too. But whatever, I guess that works. Still love me for this episode of Let's Play Lego Star Wars 2. See you guys in the next episode when we come on Joey. Aha! I'm gonna probably buy super blasters for one, maybe I don't know. Let me make blasters do double damage. And uh just have more fun with more levels I guess. So many studs, I almost doubled my uh, requirement for True Jedi. But, I might as well see what this thing made. I can probably guess already. This is part of the fun of uh, Free Play 2. You get to see what all these mini kits do. And then, we're gonna see later on after that, uh, just how special those are. Oh yeah, you get studs every time you get all mini kits. I forgot about that. You get a lot, too. Yeah, Free Play in this game is so rewarding and so fun. Look at all that. Gone a lot. So that'll be it for this episode of Let's Get Lego Star Wars 2. I'll see you guys next time. We have more fun in more places. And those places are places that I don't quite remember. Oh man, it's really chilling waste, isn't it? Eh, not my favorite level. But that's so you can get through it. You see then, guys. Bye.